everyone and happy Monday. It is weekly planner page. It is the 27th of June for those of you who are not sure. Um, but this is a lovely picture from Magical Jungle and uh, I have chosen actually already which pencils I'm going to be using for this which does make a change for me I have to admit. Um, I've decided on using some Prisma colours and I've just grabbed them out and um, sharpened them and brought them through. So what I'm actually going to start with are the flower centres. I'm going to come in a lot closer for you. Um, I think we'll, we might actually not do this, we might work through it from top to bottom but we'll do the flower centres just because I've got the pencil out. I'm going to use the yellow ochre for those and keep it fairly simple it's quite a small space so really I just want a little bit darker around the outside of those centers and a little bit lighter into the middle it's just a matter of layering up a little bit more I tend not to I know some people press quite hard on their prisms I tend not to I tend to layer up in the same way that I would with the polychromos really just because that's what I'm used to using tend to use the same technique and it seems to work. So there are those two. We might as well just work through them all. So we've got this one here as well. So you can see I'm layering it here and doing less. Um, I think this might be petals and a flower centre too. I'm never quite sure. I've done this picture quite a few times. Now this picture isn't going to be um, hugely colourful. It's going to be a lot of greens and for all the leaves and things like that. If you want to do a much more colourful version, I highly recommend um, Emily Illustrator's version. I've done her version in one of my copies of Magical Jungle. It was lovely fun and basically she did lots of bright colours, almost a sort of rainbow. And then um, she, um, she did some sparkly coloured pens, I think, on the outside, or metallic, I can't quite remember. I'm just checking if that's all the flowers, but it isn't. We've got one here. So, uh, yeah, so hers is fun if you want something bright and colourful, but mine isn't. It's going to be more muted, jungly colours, I guess. But I think but that's that's how I've decided. I think we'll do the flowers as well. We'll just sort of get those bits done. It sounds a bit like I want to get it over and done, but they don't. I think it'll just help me plan and think about the rest. So... I'm using, sorry, this is the cadmium orange hue. It's quite small, isn't it? This one I actually bought as a second and it broke and broke and broke. It's got a crack right down the wood. It's, uh, yeah, I knew I was taking a risk when I bought it and it, my sharpener just ate it and ate it and it crumbled and crumbled. But uh, it's just the way it is. I've got a nice new one in my tin, but I'm just using this one up. Um, and which is sort of why I chose this shade of orange. You can use any orange. What I'm trying to do is make it a little darker towards the flower centre and then a little lighter towards the edge. If you're using your polychromos, um, use your green gold in the middle and for this just use your cadmium orange um, or your favourite orange. It doesn't really matter which orange you use. Now you could use a slightly lighter orange on the tip of the flower compared with the centre. I'm just layering this one up instead. I'm keeping it simple and actually this is the only orange I had. These pencils I'm using for this are all open stock. They aren't from my set of, pol of um, Prismacolors. So um, I'm sort of using them up as it were. So uh, that's why I picked these colours really and it just fitted with my plan. You could do these bits here as leaves but I think they're petals. It's up to you how you interpret it really. I hope you're all well this Monday morning. Um, it's uh, well it's morning here anyway. Um, I'm recording this a bit in advance so I can't tell you much about what's going on in the world or the weather or anything like that which is probably good. Um, we've been having a bit of hot weather lately doesn't really suit me very well so uh, I was very grumpy yesterday well I had a 
had a headache as well. I think I went out in the hot sun. I had to pop out. I went out as early as I could, so it was as cool, but I couldn't go out too early because of the timing. And where I had to go wasn't open really early. And so by the time I got home, I was, ugh, I had a headache and I felt grumpy. But uh, it's gone today, so that's good. I don't often feel grumpy, but uh, yeah, I don't like the sun. It doesn't make me grumpy. I'm not sure what to do with this bit. We've got one on there as well. So I'm just going to leave it for now and decide later. Now I can see quite a lot of paper through on this. And uh, if you don't like that, you can always use your blender to get rid of it. I like, I want it to look a little bit lighter. So that's, uh, so that's okay. I am just trying to darken it a bit near those centres. You want to see a contrast between this bit and this bit. So uh, I'm going to do it up here as well, I think. Just go over that a little bit. They're quite crumbly. This orange is particularly bad for crumbling. I don't know if all of the oranges are, or if it's just this particular pencil. But anyway, we'll see. Once I get to use the other one, I'll find out, I guess. But, uh, it's okay. I'll, I'll soon use it up. It won't fit in my sharpener. I struggle to uh, sharpen it. Um, anyway. I've got my husband home today. He's got a sore neck. He can't, every time he turns, he's in, turns his head, he's in agony. So he decided to not go to work because driving would be really dangerous. He's just trying not to move his neck. That's not good, is it? So uh, I can't check his blind spot or anything. Oh, we've got another one here I missed. Did you notice? Did you shout at me? You missed it. But uh, he's uh, not sure what he's doing, to be honest. He was do had to do a little bit of work from home instead. Of, but uh, he, uh, he might be doing some art if he can manage it. Might be better for him to sit and watch TV, I'm not sure. We'll see. But he showed me a video. He said, watch this video, it's really useful. It was about um it's this sort of tech guy and he was talking about um his uh videos that paid the most money. We're just gonna use the um yellow ochre to do the centre of this one. But I was like, yeah I it was about monitoring your traffic. So if you're a YouTuber and you're looking to um, make a lot of money from your advertising revenue, what I've decided to do is on these curly bits, I'm going to use the yellow ochre as well. Um, that It sort of showed you how to analyse your data. But I, I do that anyway. I know which of my videos are most popular. And for me, that's important so that I can keep you and um, do what you want me to do, you know, my viewers. So uh, I can have a look and see. And I know that um, completed book flip throughs are very popular. But uh, and if I could complete a book a week and do a flip through, that would be amazing. But I can't. <laughs> so I do do them as much as I can. But um, also, I don't want to um, necessarily always colour in the same book. So for me, completing a book quickly isn't always fun. Now the background parts. So on this we've got background body parts and we've got the leaves on top. So for the body, I had decided, I'm just trying to find it, to do... What did I decide to do it? Uh, yeah, these two colours. So yellow chartreuse and... No, chartreuse, sorry, and chartreuse, those two colours. So let's start with the head. And what I thought I would do was start with this colour. Now I looked at some geckos, some pictures, and uh, a lot of them were brown. And I thought, should I do a brown one? And I thought, nah. So I'm trying to do a little bit darker on the edge and sort of fading it towards the middle where the yellow is going to go. But one of them was sort of fluorescent yellowy green. So I thought, oh 
can use those colours. So that's why I grabbed these colours. So that's that. We've got a little bit in there. And put that bit. I don't think. Maybe we'll just pop a bit in there. Now for the hands. We've got these dots. I think I'm going to ignore them at the minute. And just go round them with this. I might bring that a bit further in and do it around there. be quite fun to go quite bright the leaves are more dull so it's a quite a contrast I thought that would be fun but, uh, um, I'm just going to sweep away that orange because I don't want to accidentally pick any orange pencil crumbs up with this pencil and then uh, mix them in, that's not the plan. Uh, so we'll go over here, do these bits. Some of them are looking a little bit orange but I'm not going to worry about it. I know the um, Christmas can sometimes be a little bit smudgy, which um, is fine. It's just what they are. I think it depends on the paper as well. If the paper's very um, slick, if it's um, got no tooth, I think they tend to can smudge over the surface a little bit more easily but uh, I haven't had masses of experience in using them so here just start to fade and that's a leaf Got a little bit here look yep and there uh, I think all this bit in here I might put a little bit there and there it's going to be the yellow. There's not much going on there. So we've got our legs. So make it darker here and here. Now I have said before I'm not going to do too many um, poly, um, Prismacolor videos because lots of people use them. But I know they're a really popular brand of pencil. But uh, you know it's... I don't want to do the same as everybody else and I'm also still building my confidence up a little bit in using them so I thought this would be a nice picture for me to start where it's quite easy and I'm using um, pencils that I've had for a while so I sort of know about what combos, colour combos to use and that sort of thing. It's odd because I feel you know with things like my castles arts as soon as I got them I was like confident in just trying them out but with the these it feels like they're a different um, technique but I'm just going with my own technique and see what happens Oops. just move my brush so I can push it up and we can do all of the tail I hope it's light enough it looks okay I've um, got my blind semi open the sun is very bright uh, here and uh, Put the lamp on and tilted it slightly towards the uh, page, but not too much, or as it blinds me. Well, not literally, thankfully. Um, I think there and there, a bit there, a bit there and there, 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 there and there. Now I'm going to go in with the yellow chartreuse, and I don't know if you can see. That's probably better that way. Um, and just fill in all the spaces. I'm going to go over the green and it's going to be quite bright isn't it? But that's okay. The other leaves are going to be duller um, so I think it will be a nice contrast. I'll probably find I've missed some once you start doing the leaves but I'm pretty sure there isn't any in between this little section. I had had people requesting me do videos using these, so I thought I would just have a go. I still undecided about the, those little dots. Maybe we'll use one of the greens from the leaves. I'm really just going over all of the colour that I've done already and then just filling in the gap. I'm not trying to do a lighter layer anywhere. I probably would if it was a bigger area because it's quite small. I'm 
not too worried. I think he's looking quite cool. Right, let me just pull him up so we can see the rest of him and then I have to worry about making sure I keep moving it. I can't believe it's June already. The year's gone so quick. Wasn't it only just Christmas? I'm just looking for little gaps. I don't I don't know what that bit is. I think that bit there might be a gap there. And there and maybe there. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty bonkers. It doesn't feel you know, I know um a lot of people have been desperately waiting for the hot weather to come and it's been quite late this year. But for me it feels like it should still be winter, you know so funny but uh, it, I think it's next week or the week after I'm not sure I've got a calendar here I could look um, my children finish um, college for the summer which is pretty amazing and they'll be home and now I've got my little whoops, um, recording room I can make videos um, when they're making theirs because they're going to be making videos so I can make some when because when they're making theirs, um, I have to be quiet. So um, if I can like, leave the room, I can do mine. So that'd be quite fun, and uh, we can make them at the same time. And uh, he looks a bit odd. I'm hoping <laughs> that once we bring in the leaf colours, which are these three, that uh, that it will come together. So I'm going to use three colours on each leaf the green ochre which is a sort of brownie green the moss green and then the lime peel you have to believe me so i start with this one and uh, just start working away so i'm going to use the this on the sort of tips of the leaves and i'm going to sort of gently um, lay it down with a darker layer on the tip and then just fade it out. I know we can smush them together with with prismas but I like to still use this technique. I, uh, I find it works for me so uh, I'm sticking to it. Now this one curls right around here I think we'll do this bit as well just to or else we're going to have a lot of the same colour I think it's quite fun to have different colours. And this one we'll put some in here. And hopefully this will all work out nicely. So, and the orange and the yellow, the chartreuse is bright, isn't it? But we'll see. The idea is that the leaves will tone it all down a little bit. We'll see. I could have used my whole set and picked out some slightly more muted colours, but why? Let's have fun with it. It's odd, it's almost like it's wearing a little leafy cape. <laughs> Super gecko. So, we're not going on a holiday this summer. I know a lot of people do. We haven't been away for a long old time, obviously. Um, we had planned to go away. We hadn't had a holiday for a while and I decided that we would go away when the boys finished their GCSE exams. Now these are our sort of exams that they take it, all children have to take at age 16. They're quite big exams. Um, at 16 the children take those and it might um, mean that they leave and go to work so they need good marks or they go on to college to do um, a vocational qualification or they do uh, academic ones called A-levels. Um, they might stay on at school and do their A-levels as well. Mine, um, their school didn't go beyond 16 so they had to change schools and uh, they wanted to do A-levels. They knew they needed fairly reasonable marks in certain subjects to go to the place they wanted to go to so yeah, it was quite uh, tricky. So uh, I decided that we wouldn't have a holiday 
the holidays before they did their GCSEs because they would need to be doing revising and things. Um, obviously they would need a break but they, want, they weren't too keen on going and I thought well what we'll do is we'll go when they finished and we'll go somewhere as a little treat you know but unfortunately no one could travel at that time there were UK holidays available um, but I left it too late and everyone had booked up because um, because they couldn't go abroad sorry I'm colouring you can't see and um, also um, um, it got very expensive and uh, they sort of said we don't really want to go so we didn't book one so we haven't so we still haven't had one so but we're going to be doing our kitchen as I've spoken about lots of times I will by now by the time this video goes out I'll have a date it's very exciting now this one is really tricky because normally we'd just do the top of the stem like this piece of here and then the other colours here but this one goes all the way down to the leaf so I'm actually going to colour this stem all the way down and do a bit at the top of the leaf so because we're having that done we can't just sort of disappear off away and we've got to be here to supervise what's going on obviously but we've got an ant and we've got a colour for him oh, I know what I can do We'll see how he goes. I'm going to colour over him because my plan involves a pen. So we'll be able to cover him. I hope I've got one in here actually. <laughs> Never mind. Um, so we've got to be here to supervise that and that sort of thing. Also, i um, got relatives visiting. Um, not us, but my parents. Staying with my parents, so we'll be seeing some of them, which will be nice. So there's a lot going on this summer and the children have decided they're going to do some revision in the holidays again ready. So we're going to switch to our moss green. I'm going to do all of the tail bit and then move up and hopefully I won't forget to move the book this time. <gasps> Sorry. Now I'm going to go over the brown, the, um, what's this? not brown, is it? The green ochre, the moss green. And then just take the colour down. So no, we're not going away, but I suspect a lot of people are. It's a little bit tricky in the UK. There's a lot of um, shortage of staff at airports, causing a lot of problems with people getting on flights and lots of delays and things like that. So uh, it's not really... Um, I feel like I'm doing this backwards. <laughs> it's not really a, um, a, a happy prospect. Oh, I've just coloured over that, which is probably supposed to be yellow. Never mind. Um, so I think it could be a bit miserable, but people might think it's worth it, you know, once they eventually get to where they're going. So uh, we'll see. But my boys haven't actually been abroad. I hadn't by their age. It's just a bit tricky travelling abroad, really. There are uh, it's just all sorts of things that make me think, I don't know if I want to. So, uh, but they aren't that bothered, although my son wanted to go to Tenerife with his geology class. They're going, obviously, there's a lot of volcanic rock and stuff, but we had to book it up so way in advance we couldn't take out insurance if it was going to be cancelled. So uh, it just seemed too risky to me. He's obviously disappointed, but um, he's actually got an exam the week after. In fact, it's got an exam in the week, that week. So uh, it would have meant having to take it at another time because it's only an end of year exam. So it's an internal college assessment, so they can move it. But I think it's better for him to be here concentrating on that. But uh, I'm sure he doesn't agree with me one day. Right, let's try and get that all in. There we go. So, <laughs> but. Uh, anyway. He did have the opportunity to go to London for a day to go to some sort of sciencey thing, but he decided not to. His brother's done a trip to London, not London. Where did he go? Warwick University, I think. And 
the Heather did some stuff there which he enjoyed. But uh, that was chemistry related. He seemed to have a he my other son's done a lot of geology field trips though, even though he can't do the Tenerife one, he's done a lot in um, the UK. So we did a couple on the Malvern Hills. I'm not sure where else they went. Forest of Dean, I think. He's got a few next year as well, I think. I'm not sure. So uh, he's been doing those. Because they have to do a number of, they have to show practical skills, but they don't have to do the expensive trip. These little ones and are uh, much cheaper so everybody can do them. I think also because the um, college has a bursary fund for those that can't afford it so they can do it even if they uh, even if they haven't got a lot of money. Um, but the big Tenerife trip's obviously a bit more of a jolly. I don't think there's any help with that one. But they've still got had work set for that time as well so you'd have to do work when he would normally have had lessons, even though half the class aren't there. But they've been told they've got to catch up and he, um, the work's already been set so that they can do it really early before they go if they want to. Which is interesting. But it's quite good. Um, there's a lot of online working. My husband was saying, you know, it's a big improvement but they can set things online, they can set their homework online, rather than the child having to be in the lesson and write it down. If they happen to miss, it's there online, they've got no excuse, they can look it up as well if they've forgotten what it is or forgot to write it down. They can email the teacher. It's, there's a lot of conveniences which are much better that have had to sort of come about as a result of the online learning which I think is brilliant. I love online learning. And I was having a chat about it to some people the other day and they weren't so keen on the idea. But uh, I sort of was thinking to myself, it's no wonder I'm so pro online learning because it's exactly what I'm doing now. I'm online teaching. So we have the lime peel. I'm going to go over all of it again. Try and sort of mix those colours up. And uh, it'll be our sort of final layer. So if you want to, you can put this one down a little bit heavily. I could do with a um, pencil extender. Hold on. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Helps me put a little bit more pressure on the pencil useful when I'm doing quite a large area. I don't I didn't used to like them very much but that was because the ones I had weren't didn't really work well for me but this, these ones are good. So uh, and they're not very expensive pencil extenders either. The other ones I had as well were very fiddly to get the pencil in and out and this one is really easy. So that makes a big difference too. I rather like the um, lime colour. So I like this sort of olivey green shades. I think doing this sort of, it's just a different way of doing the um, leaves really, with a more browny sort of tinge to them. Now, I'm not going to do a background for this picture. I've, um, I like it quite simple. I've seen various backgrounds um, on this picture and very inventive, but uh, usually involving lots of drawing. And things so I'm not been very keen obviously I could just do a bit of pastel splodging but uh, I think I'll just leave it as it is really. Now, I notice that some people really seem to press down very hard with their Christmas as I was saying before 
be a little bit scared to do that. I think the the um, tip might break. But uh, maybe some people's are a bit stronger than mine. I don't know. I think it's nicer to sort of layer up. And these are very vibrant anyway, so if you um, if you pressed hard, you'd get lots of pigment in the paper, or you'd never be able to erase it. Now, if you want to um, define the um, uh, between the leaves a little bit more, you could get a darker colour. Um, what would I recommend? Maybe a darker brown. Yeah, probably dark brown of some sort. There's quite a few dark browns, isn't there? It's a dark umber, something like that. And just go along the edge and it will create a little shadow. And that would just help those leaves to look like they were piled on top of each other rather than the little patchwork mishmash. I'm quite happy with them looking a little bit flatter um, just because I think they might be part of his body so they might not be piled up a lot. It's really up to you. So I hope everyone's managing to do a little bit of colouring each day. I find it makes such a difference. Um, just not not just to improving my colouring, which it does. I've just seen a bit of yellow mist there. Being fussy. Um, I mean it. You know, it helps me feel more relaxed, calm and happy, which is lovely. But um, also um, helps my colouring always improve a little bit. You know, every bit of practice, every bit of colouring, we're improving. So uh, it's really good to just keep going with it. And what I find is the best way to make sure that you do some is to have some out. It's not, you know, it's lovely to have everything clean and tidy and put away. But if it's away, it's not remembered. So what I do is always leave a little bit out. Just, um, well, I say that. I I was going to say just my current piece, but that's not true. I don't, because if I've been using um, pens, gel pens, Posca pens, I leave my piece out to dry. So there's that piece out somewhere. And then if I'm doing a video and I'm in the middle of it, there's that out as well. Or if I'm sort of finishing it off or something like that. And then um, if I'm... Um, and then I've always got another separate piece on the go most of the time that's unrelated to my videos. So uh, at the moment I've got uh, Mandela that I'm doing. I'm doing it with um, gel pens. This pencil getting a bit blunt but I don't know if I can sharpen it, it's so small so I'm just going to try and um, use it blunt and we'll see what happens um, yes yeah, so I've got a mandala that I'm working on in gel pens I decided to try um, blue with yellow I thought it was quite a nice combo and it's working out nicely the only thing is that um, I keep running them out <laughs> I'm just hoping that I'm gonna they're gonna last. Um, I find the castle um, gel pens they seem to run out quite quickly, but um, I mean they're really cheap. They're still great value for money, but especially um, I'm just gonna erase a bit there. Just find my eraser. So I've got a little pencil case with a few bits and pieces in. This is my Tombow Mono. Let's just take that away. I don't think that'll stain the paper so much. It's like the orange would really stain. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying a sort of yellow and blue. You may, I, mm, yeah, I'll show it in my completed pages video, which will come out in a few days' time. So uh, actually, I just thought about that. I have been planning all my videos for June, and I haven't left a space for that one. Sorry, my nose is running. Wait a minute. So I'll just have to uh, check for that. I could always do it as a little extra one. Well, not little, long. They're quite long, aren't they? If I can't fit it in. Because sometimes if I've got a sort of three or four, um, a series of three or four, then uh, I could do it on the 1st of July, I guess. 
I usually try and do it at the end, but we'll see. We'll see. Right, let me look. I'm just having a look and seeing if I've missed anywhere, really. But I know I've missed these little dots, so what I think I'd like to do is do them in... Should we do them in orange? Or should we do them in... Um, green? Hmm... Um, we do them in this, I think. We do them in the moss green. I'm just going to sharpen it because they're obviously quite small um, um, spaces to fill. I'm using my um, Prisma colour sharpener. I know some people say it doesn't work very well for them, but uh, it's been okay for me. last little touch of course is the bug on the tail oh, I'll move that in a minute and I said I was going to do it in pen and I need to check if I've got the pen oh gosh it's gone a bit crumbly having just been sharpened hasn't it There we go. I'm just going to sweep that off. And um, we'll look at our little bug. I'll just look back in my pencil case if I've got a black pen. I'm sure I had one in here, but unfortunately I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go next door and do the little bug in a black pen and then take a photo of the final um, thing for you to see. I'm not going to run next door, get a pen and show you how to colour something in pen. I think you can do that. And um, what I am going to use though is my Sakura Black Glaze pen. I, that's the one I thought was in here. I'm not sure it's, I must have nicked it and taken it next door. So I'm going to use that for the bug and he'll stand out and he'll shine a little bit, which might be fun. So there he is and we're all done. So thank you for watching. It's yeah, it's a fairly long video, isn't it? But I just thought I would do the whole thing because it's not that tricky. I mean, I've seen people do pebbles for them to stand on or little platforms, different things. There's lots of videos actually out there showing how to do different backgrounds if you fancy doing one. But he's just going to be plain. So thank you so much for watching. Um, have a very happy Monday. Enjoy your day. Watch out for a video later in the day. Um, there's always two. So uh, there'll be another one for you. Um, I'm hoping to keep up with two a day anyway, um, as far as I can. But there we go. Thank you so much and happy colouring.